Well, howdy folks. Welcome to Rock Hard Riffs. This is the guitar channel for the self-taught. Uh, we also do other stuff, Beatles stuff like you can see, and if you've been watching the other videos, you will know what we do here. Uh, this is our 48th video, coming up on 50. Um, YouTube is going to be removing their editor. So I actually edit all these videos up to this point on the YouTube editor. For, I guess maybe it's just not getting enough use. I don't know, but I use it all the time. <coughs> but they're getting rid of it. Now I have other software uh, to do editing with, uh, but I just need to learn how to use it. So uh, I'm going to take a, a short break after, say, 50 videos, if I can get those in before the 20th of September, which there's just two more. I don't see why I, I shouldn't, but you never know, right? Um, but, uh, so we'll be taking a little break. Now, I have to ask you, also, while I'm taking that break, I'm, I'm going to take uh, stock of what's going on with the channel. Um, we need uh, subscribers to keep us going. So if you like to see this stuff keep on going, you want to watch more, uh, please subscribe. Because we need subscriptions to know that people are watching her and are interested and and enjoy the videos it's just pretty much that that simple so alrighty let's take a look at what we've got here now what do all three of these albums have in common what can we guess that they have in common now, these are not bootlegs have you ever heard of the Beatles greatest hits or a collection of Beatles oldies or the Beatles beat have you ever heard of those they're not bootlegs. You could kind of call them oddities. But the one thing that they all have in common is that they're German. These are from Germany. And that, again, I would have bought these at a store called uh, Roads to Moscow or Roads to Moscow however you like to pronounce it. Um, yeah, that would have been in the 70s uh, in Tempe, Arizona. And I got bunches of albums uh, from there because they had such cool stuff like this. And, you know, I'm, uh, I was a bit of a Beatle uh, record collector. Anything I could get my hands on. And I really love these odd ones like this. Just because they're oddballs, you know? That's cool stuff. Let's take a look at the third one here. The Beatles Beat. And they're EMI releases. So it's, uh, you know, they're legit as far as that goes. As far as that goes. So they're not bootlegs. If you can read that at all. Now let's take a look at the vinyl itself. Some of these I have listened to, some I haven't. So, <clears throat> so whether these are in English or not, or in German, I don't think they tran. They, I know they did translate some stuff into German. They sang it in German, <clears throat> but I don't think all of this. But maybe we can find out, and that's going to take your comment and subscription to keep me going, guys. Need to know you're watching. I'm not going to make videos for thin air, would you? You know what I mean? So that's that one. And let's take a look at the Beatles. Oldies, but goldies. Let's look at this label. Yep, same thing. Interesting stuff, huh? All right, now let's look at the Beatles' greatest. Yep, same thing. Now, why they would have had these at that record store, uh, your guess is as good as mine, but they did, and I'm glad they did, because these are, you know, collectible albums, I would imagine. So there you have it, folks. German Beatles releases under kind of odd 
album names. It's not like these were European or American albums that they just just released in Germany. No, they're different. Very interesting. So let me know what you think, folks, in the comments. Really appreciate you watching. Remember, we're not just a guitar channel. We do stuff on the Beatles, and we're going to do other stuff, hopefully. Uh, so, again, please leave a comment, all that good, fun stuff. And uh, thanks a lot. Take care.